your living space isn't comfortable if the foundation isn't stable. The same goes for building a safe place for your inner self. Celebrated poet, speaker, and educator Nejwa Zebian joins us with her new book, Welcome Home, a guide to building a home for your soul. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you, thank you for writing this guide because I, I started reading it and I thought, I don't really need self-help, but there are some tips that I picked up in here that are, are kind of life-changing. And one of them is, what am I doing something for? Am I doing it for somebody else? or am I doing it for myself? Yes, that's one of the biggest messages that I want people who read Welcome Home to reflect on. Whatever it is that you're doing, are you aiming to get someone's validation that that's okay, meaning you're okay? Or are you aiming to do it simply because that's something you love to do? It's something that you feel you have a passion for. And the examples in the book are that most of the time, the things that we're thinking that people are thinking about us, they're not at all. So why, why are we trying to please everybody else, right? You've got to please yourself. Yes. Absolutely, yes. So if you go back to the stories in your, earlier in your life that told you something about yourself, if you look at the way that you perceive everything that everyone in your life does now, you're somehow trying to confirm that conclusion that you reached about yourself in your earlier experiences. You're looking for confirmation. So if you think that you're not worthy of being loved, you're going to look for those confirmations and tell yourself, see, that is true about you. So part of Welcome Home, the very first part of it is the road to home, which is understanding how far back do I need to go to understand how I've been thinking of myself and what created that thought process and let's get rid of that so that we could get to a point where now we are the narr narrators of the story. The narrative is in our hands, not in the hands of others. Right, and, and you come at this from a very different angle. You were somebody very successful doing TED Talks about relationships and, 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 and self-worth and everything and, and it seems as though you kind of felt inside, am I doing this? like for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Is it working? Yeah, so th that conflict that I had on the inside of knowing everything there is to know about self-worth and self-love and what I deserve and what I don't deserve. And then when it came to actually applying it, I found myself falling back into the role of that therapist that's thinking, I know better, I know how these things work. So. I would be sitting with my friends and giving them incredible advice based on that logic that I know. But when it came to my own life, I fell back into the pattern of this is an exception, you know? And I didn't, for my own life, I didn't put what I knew into practice. So I thought, what's, what's going on here? And that's what led me to the foundation of your home. Because you could know everything there is to know about self-love and forgiveness and compassion and clarity and surrendering to your emotions and your dreams. Those are all rooms or chapters in Welcome Home, by the way. You can know everything there is to know, but think of an actual house. If it only has the rooms, they will be, you know, flying around in the world. Nothing really brings them together. So. The missing piece is that strong foundation of self-acceptance and self-awareness. Once you are aware of yourself and aware of the stories that got you to this point in your life and you accept the self that you are now with all the times in your life that you wish you didn't do certain things or that you didn't fall for certain things, you're in a state of acceptance. That's what lays that foundation for all the things that you know to be together in one place and to actually stay together. Right, and, and how it all falls into place the way you want it to, right? And, and not the way that we want in social media, we want to like or we want to follow or yes. anything like that, which is what we're so obsessed about right now. Mm -hmm. I love the part about getting rid of that. Also like, yes. uh, you know, replacing the word, getting rid of the word failure. And mm -hmm. we failed to reach our, our full time here because we have run out of time, but it, it's a fascinating book. And I, I, I want to let viewers know how they can, uh, how they can get onto it. 
it. So welcome home, a guide to building a home for your soul. Neja, thank you very much for, uh, first of all, for writing this book and, and also for joining us this morning. And look at the details up on chch.com. Thank you so much.